I want to show you a few things here in terms of how to get started in my big campus once you've logged in uh, some things you might want to change having to do first of all with your personal settings uh, and your profile and to get to that come up here by your name and your your uh, usually it's going to be a, a little almost emoticon so to speak for you guys as a default click on here and go to settings and once I'm in there, I can go in and change things about myself. Now, if, for example, your name is showing up as your first name, last name, and you rather say Mr. or Ms. or Mrs., you can then select here and select that. If it's st selected as uh, select salutation, what will show up for the students is your first and last name. If you'd rather be a little bit more formal and have, you know, Mr. Pulley show up, you need to set it that way. You can then go in here and tell a little bit about yourself. Um, this is going to tell you things I've got, you know, my name is easy to pronounce. No one ever goes, how do you pronounce that? Um, but I do have one L instead of two. And I've got a lot of things in there in terms of things, interest for me. Uh, down to, yes, I tie my own bow ties. Next section here is the title, uh, what your position is essentially. You can type in here teacher, perhaps you're the principal, librarian, IT person, whatever they are. I've got teacher selected and technology integrator. Uh, I think I can qualify for that one. Um, you know, hopefully. Um, down below that, we've got subject areas. I've got social studies selected, you know, wide technology, or wide selection here that I've got also communications and media that I teach as well. You can select grade levels, any or all that you want to pick in there. If you're a principal, perhaps you might say, uh, you know, a tech district person might say not applicable as opposed to choosing all. Uh, if you're in a building like ours and you're teaching nine through 12, select those. You can put your email address in there to get email notifications if you so choose and integrate your mobile number as well to get SMS or text notifications. Or actually, if you have the My Big Campus app on your iPhone or your Android device and, have, and are logged in on that, it will then go in and send them to you in your notifications preferences on that device. So I'm now going to hit save at this point. And we're going to see what happens. It's going to kick me right back to my profile page, which is not where I want to be because I want to show you some more things because there are more settings in there. I can go in here also under my settings and look at edit my profile photo. You're going to have one of those default, and let me close this out. You're going to have one of these default down here at the bottom, little icons, that they've, little smiley faces they've got on there. Um, if you want something different, go to profile photo. Uh, and then you would browse for that photo. Mine actually is, I know, on, in my Dropbox. Um, it is in the Photos and Images, and it is EGPULA, pick a face uh, picture. And to show you that, that that's, um, let me cancel out of here, sorry. That is at um, pickaface.net where I created that. Sign in, create a nice little cartoon caricature of yourself where we all look better than hopefully we look in real life. I know I do, anyway. So that's where you can change that. And then once you've gone in there and selected that file, uploaded it, you would then come down here and select that image as one. And there's mine, as you can see. Um, for example, if I wanted to go to my profile photo and say, hey, let me browse for, um, and I think I still have in my Dropbox, for example, um, pictures of me. Um, here's one, I would say me and my family. Or here's a, an older picture of me. I can select that one and say submit. Once that is done uploading, you'll see that as an option of one of the ones you can pick to choose from. Okay. And in fact, right now I've actually done it. It's actually you know selected that one for me. So if I actually hit save at this point, what I'm going to see is um, an, an option when I come back to pick that one. I'm going to stay with the little cartoon that I've got. Another thing in here we've got uh, under settings, there are applications you can put in as well, um, but I'll get to those in a second. Profile photo, notification preferences. This is where I can set, uh, do I want emails? If I don't, don't want all those emails I've been getting, uh, then deselect those here and select for just for the ones that you want. Uh, for example, I want people to post on my school wall, I'm going to put that on there. Um, I'm not sure how that got unselected. Uh, SMS, again, that's going to be a text message. Or if you've got uh, the app on your phone, it becomes an, into your notifications. I can do then set group notification preferences for each group. And it's essentially the same ones. 
uh, then I'm going to go in there and do the same kinds of things. Uh, and you have to do those for each and every group. And in my case, man, that's a lot of groups. Scrolling back to the top, the one thing I do want to show you here is this one that says assigns you an assignment. Uh, this is one you definitely want to click on here that you get uh, some kind of notification, whether it's an email or this. Um, email, you'll get bombarded whenever students submit stuff. But if you don't have one of these selected, your notifications thing up here, you won't see where students are actually submitting stuff. And if you want to keep an eye on that, that's where you would do that. And this would turn red and show you how many notifications you have. If I don't want those, then hey, deselect that and then you won't see them. So that's a little bit on notifications. Uh, again, getting all the way to the bottom, always good to save before you leave a page in My Big Campus. Uh, then last, finally, there are applications you can integrate your Google Drive if you want to. You can integrate your um, Windows Live account, OneDrive from Microsoft. You can integrate Twitter, and I highly do not recommend integrating your Facebook to that. Um, but um, Twitter, a lot of people do. Um, mine are, I have it set for, uh, then when I do blogs and stuff, it gives me the option of saying, hey, do I want that then to uh, put that on uh, my wall or put that excuse me, onto um, the EduTalk. I have options in those two things as well. So those things are in there as well. And then finally, there is the tools, which is setting learning targets. Um, I don't have any set in here. I do add them to standards if you want to set some learning targets for yourself. Um, if you go to the Illinois ones, it will take you simply to these Common Core ones. So might as well come over here and select Common Core. And you can drill down, you know, obviously through these you know, as deep as you want in terms of things that are in there. Okay, questions you have, I hope that's gonna help you a little bit. Uh, yeah, I can't say learning target I didn't select anything for. Hopefully that will um, help you with all the stuff that you have questions on in terms of your settings and getting you started using My Big Campus. Hope it helps, thanks.